Hey guys, welcome to another Fretted Friday. And have I got a treat for you today. Yet another guitar unboxing. Yes, you guessed it, from Joe Doe Guitars, coming right up. Yes, so another big thank you to my buddies at JHS, John Hornby Skews in the UK, who are distributors for vintage guitars, because we have got another Joe Doe guitar to unbox today. Let's get on and have a look. Okay, and again, this is a pretty heavy guitar because it comes, again, with its own case, which for the price, is incredible value as far as I'm concerned as you will find out in just a moment. So tricky little devils to open but once you get in you get this really fabulous idea. I like this idea because it really does protect the case and I worked out a much easier way of getting these out. You turn them upside down and we we'll slide them out just a quick reminder that these Jodo guitars are made in China. Amazingly very, very good quality. And the other one, the Lucky Betty guitar, which incidentally, just like this, is also a limited edition, are all made in China and for vintage brand guitars. And look at these cases, another really nice Jodo custom case. And we'll just get this skirting off. Now, again, I'm gonna let you see it first. Here we go. <laughs> oh my word. That is a thing of beauty. Let's pop that latch back again a second and take a good look at this guitar. Okay, once again comes with... <laughs> now they all come with a story and I love the fact that they come with a story. Now this one is the Dojo Longboard Surf Guitar and the story goes that it was built by a surfer, Skip Blake, whose mother gave birth to him in the sand dunes of Huntington Beach in California in 1948. And it's alleged that he's never been more than 500 yards from the shore since then. Uh, and he's the number one surfboard and custom car um, bodyworks crafter. And legend has it, that Danny Chow, singer and guitarist of the band Danny and the Breaking Waves, I think I got that right, uh, commissioned Blake to build this guitar for him. Let's get this bit off the headstock. And there's the, the bar. And we'll take these little labels off as well. So it also comes with this lovely bill of sale from Blake's uh, Surf Shack and invoice number 2843. And it says that it's retailed at 215, sales tax of $50.50, oh, cash sale 26550. If only we could get it for that price now, hey? And it also comes with a certificate of authenticity which I'll give you a bit more of a close-up of. There you go, from Vintage. Uh, the Vintage Warranty Registration Card and details of how to fix the vibrato arm. And actually fitting the vibrato arm is very, very simple on these guitars. And in fact, that one is nicely fitted anyway and may not need to be tightened too much. Just behind the back here, there is a little socket for an Allen wrench, and I'll just give that the slightest little tighten. And there we go, that's nice and steady in there now. Just, as you can see, just falling down slowly. It's got plenty of friction. Um, this says Surf City, 
And the story goes that Blake completed the guitar out of a broken section of longboard and even used it to surf on. <laughs> so there you have a really, really nice surf blue guitar. And I love the little touches. The fact that it's got Surf City down here and the fact that the volume knob has uh, swell and crest and barrel, crest and barrel on the tones. I'll show you some close up pictures of that later. And then you've got a five way selector, which is 1958. And on the back, do not talk to lifeguard while on duty on the back. And nice skunk stripe here with Blake across the middle of it there, which I think looks really great. It's a very, very stratty looking guitar again, very much like the Lucky Betty guitar. And again, I love the story on the Lucky Betty. And it is a very pretty looking guitar. It's got an older body, a rock maple neck, and it's got all Wilkinson hardware and Joe Doe custom made single coil lipstick pickups, which looks really, really cool. And of course, that hard case is included all for the price of 499, 449, sorry, in the UK. And I think you'll agree that this looks pretty special. Sorry, I'm just checking on the, uh, on the monitor here that you can see that. And I apologize as well if I look like I'm sweating profusely. It has been so hot in the UK of late. I'm melting, melting! And it is about 32 degrees outside today. Now, the nut is Graftec. And yeah, that feels beautiful. Just like the Lucky Betty, the Wilkinson tuning posts are graded down so there's no need for a string retainer on the headstock which i think would spoil the lovely look of this headstock and what's more the action and setup is really really nice it's been set up properly and again we'll put the the whammy bar on it in a moment but looking over this guitar i would say that the action is a about two mil, maybe one and a half to two mil. Funny enough, that's how all three of the guitars I've just been sent by JHS have been set up. And let's see, is this one also in tune? It is pretty much. I'm not sure, perhaps they don't trust me to tune it. <laughs> there you go. So I love the color. I have to say straight away, I really love the color and I really like this cut on the pit guard. I think that looks quite smart. It looks very surfy to me, very surfy indeed. And it's different. And let's face it, these days, it's always good to have some changes and something different in our guitar shapes. Let's see if the other camera will give you a better shot. There we go. So it's very much a Strat shaped guitar and it's definitely got the Strat contouring as well. The body contouring, I would say it's a little thinner than perhaps your standard Strat. And there is again, like the Lucky Betty, there's no belly cut, which actually doesn't feel out of place. It doesn't feel peculiar to play without the belly cut, but I don't know, I think again, that's a matter of taste. And of course, there's no contouring across the, the back here either. That's just rectified off and flat. As you can see from the reflection in the light, it's a flat guitar all the way around, made out of one slab, allegedly of surfboard. So there we have it. It's got the Fender style jack uh, socket. And I believe it's a 25 and a half inch scale length. So exactly the same scale length as a standard Fender Strat. But I really like the look of these as per all, pretty much all Chinese import guitars these days. It is very much a nice polished finish of thick polyurethane. And I don't mind that. The only thing I would say 
is that I much prefer a satin neck, especially when it's as hot as it is today, because uh, my hands, as you might be able to see, are sticking to the back of that at the moment. But then that's something you can do something about very easily. Uh, they look like they've got perloid inlays in the 12th fret and the Surf City, I think they're just stickers by the looks of that underneath the lacquer, because obviously being a, a blonde neck, this has got a lacquer finish over the fingerboard. And yes, it's definitely a one piece neck and the, the truss rod's been installed via the skunk stripe. Now, the adjustment for the truss rod is in the neck rather than in the body. And I really quite like it. I think these three lipstick style pickups are a real nice surfy type feel. I think that this will probably play like a surf guitar and we will hopefully find that out on Tone Tuesday when I'll be back to give you a full demo on the tones of this longboard Jodo guitar by Vintage. So I really hope you've enjoyed this. Let me know what you think of this guitar and the colour, which I love. Really, really like that baby blue colour. And I'm just looking in the monitor, sorry. And um, yeah, I love the stylings. Again, the idea of Jodo to have these attached stories for these limited run guitars. These are a limited edition. There are a certain number of these and then that's it, they're out. So let me know what you think in the comment section down below. As always, really appreciate any thumbs up and likes for this video. And if you really wanna help the channel, share the video with your friends that you think might like it. And what's more, it can never hurt to subscribe. I'll be back on Tone Tuesday with the demo of this, unless anything gets in the way. And until then, have yourselves a fabulous weekend and take good care.